Dozens of community members took a step closer to a better future this afternoon. Blake Dietz attended an expungement summit in Rockford to learn more about how many are getting a second chance. We have to unlock second chances for an additional 14 million people. Community members from around the state line took a step closer to a second chance of their own as an expungement summit was held at the Booker Washington Center. Expungement seals or destroys records of an arrest or criminal conviction. Shamir Love is with the Illinois Coalition to End Permanent Punishments. She knows firsthand what the process can do for someone's life. It means everything simply because I'm not only an advocate, I am a directly impacted individual. And so I know firsthand the barriers um, for just moving ahead in life. Love says a criminal record can stop a person from getting ahead in life permanently. Absolutely life changing. There's so many barriers that are in place for individuals where they're not able to get housing or be a part of civic engagement and um, like we mentioned, employment. The expungement process begins with a petition to the court. Marlon Chamberlain, founder of the coalition, says millions are eligible in the state alone. In Illinois, there, there's an estimated 4.1 million people that will be impacted if, if and when we're able to eliminate these permanent punishments. And what that would do is that would give people the ability to dream to become doctors, to become lawyers, to become teachers and, and elected officials and entrepreneurs and pastors. So it would give people the ability to evolve and not have to worry about the background following them for life. He says a past mistake shouldn't become a forever label. I went into the system thinking everybody was bad and I soon discovered that there were a lot of brilliant people who just made a mistake. And so that's the message we want people to hear is that just because I made a mistake doesn't make me a mistake and that people can be redeemed and, and be forgiven and allowed to move forward with their lives. Reporting in Rockford for your home team, I'm Blake Dietz.